Ciudadanos de las Naras Rechazadas. We were trying to say Citizens of the Reject Nation in Spanish. I said it exactly right. I'm pretty sure she nailed it. Ciudadanos de la Nación Rechazada. Yep. Guys, we are back. We are here to do Rec Dose today. I am so excited. We should tamper our expectations only because it's a sequel and that first one was like a masterpiece. Dope. Amazing. There's very few movies where we react to them here and then I often still think about it. It's been like a week or something since we watched it. Think about it like every single day. I really love that experience. It's so freaking good. So terrifying. So Tara, should they leave a like? Yes. And they should also ring the bell. Ring the bell. As always, full length rich and watch longs where you sync up with your own copy of Rec 2 available for Super Sexy Rejects at our Patreon page. Thank you to all who have joined our Patreon so far. We've been getting so much because of all the crap we've been covering. We have covered, uh, you know, several exclusive craps over there with reaction highlights and watch longs included. Tara, it's yeah. like, where is in here with this, uh, the sentence in Spanish? Uh, Rec 2, uh, estoy listo. <laughs> is that the only thing you know? Si. <laughs> all right. Si. Ooh. This is already a little scary. <laughs> what? Uh, we're back. Oh. A partir de ahora vamos a grabarlo todo. No las desconectéis hasta que hayamos terminado. Estamos terminado, okay, jefe. Hasta que yo lo diga. ¿Vale? Sí. Oh, this is cool. We're going to be getting it from the like SWAT team's perspective. Marto, dentro. Uh, multiple angles now. Jefe, dentro. Parece que falla la señal. Como siempre. Recibiremos más órdenes cuando lleguemos. Órdenes de quién? Órdenes de alguien que da órdenes. Damn, this one feels like it's going to be way more violent. Coge todo el material, ¿vale? Ariete, bengalas, todo. No quiero sorpresas. El ariete que... It's going to be a slaughter. Oh, man. Yeah, is that like a grenade launcher? I think it's those things you break indoors with. Oh, yeah. All right. Or maybe. I don't know. Whoa, this Look is at all so these cool. People standing around maskless. There's a virus in the air. Técnico del ministerio para intentar encontrar cualquier indicio que nos su misión será escoltarla hasta el interior. Todo el doctor Owen, ministerio de sanidad. Good luck, Owen. De momento sabemos que tenemos al menos dos muertos dentro y uno de ellos es policía. My God, that tunnel behind them reminds me of ET. <laughs> Is that the husband? It's the husband. Oh, he was out to get the antibiotics. Oh, man. Memories. Oh, shit. She got loose. Look how high definition this one is. They're keeping one camera going. Or two. Also, I'd be like, I'm just going to wear it for safety. There's a lot of blood around. Ooh, do you think we'll see Angela as a zombie? That'd be cool. Yes. First time you really get the sense of all four of the floors, or however big this building is. Yeah. So it was just one big shot. That's called a battering ram. Okay. All right. Oh, they're in the... Oh, uh, yeah. Well, good luck. I love how immediate this is. Documentación exhaustiva, así que grábelo todo. ¿Qué estamos buscando exactamente? Answers. Agentes. Rubes han puesto muy nerviosos. Carboni ha llamado esta mañana y ha ordenado pararlo todo. Pero me preocupan las picaduras de insecto. Creo que son mosquitos. Oh, yeah, the little boy. Oh. Venga arriba. God, I just love living in this world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, what happened last time? Parece un trastero. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where'd he go? What's the... Parece que al final no estamos solos. Of course you're not alone. I mean, even if they're not survivors, you're going to want to take care of the problem, don't yeah, you? Yeah, man. Don't you hear that growling? 
that guy should really explain what they're dealing what with. What the so heck that, is going on? So that way they know to kill when they start running after them. La puerta está abierta. Voy a entrar. Parece despejado. Is it the same? Seems to be you got a whole hallway <laughs> to go down, buddy. The little girl. Oh, right. Like watching TV or something. Or the dad. The, remember there the was that the Chinese one, dad? yes, yeah. and he was sick in bed. It's okay. Ooh, once he turns it off. Yeah, it's probably calms the zombies. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Come on, kill it. Shoot it. Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Shoot it! He went alone? <laughs> oh my god, did oh he transform god. already? Oh my god. Ah, is that quick? <laughs> All right, shoot him. Oh my god. Padre <laughs> Santo! Mueve tus ojos sobre este siervo tuyo y envía sobre él a tu espíritu. La sangre de Cristo rompa toda atadora. What? Por el signo de la cruz, líbranos de nuestros enemigos, Dios mío. So it oh is my, demonic. Oh my God. Oh damn, they just answered that question. Y'all better go get a Bible. What? Oh. Uh, uh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, neat. All right. Why didn't the previous medical guy do that shit before? Okay. Did they get all this information in two hours? Si conseguimos aislar su esencia química, podremos encontrar un antídoto, pero algo debe salir mal. So, it is a demonic possession that forms into a chemical, so you can still treat it, oh, potentially. No son ellos los que mandan aquí. Ah, oh. this makes a lot more sense how he knew all this. Yo acabo de perder un hombre, y lo único que quiero es salir... Well, then grab a Bible and start praying. My God. It's interesting. They're trying to, they're doing like a marriage of both a virus infection and a demonic possession. Right. I don't know if I've quite seen that. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, nope. Yeah, those masks would come in handy right now, guys. <laughs> like, uh, this one plays a little bit like a survival horror game, like Resident Evil. Yeah. Oh, oh that's why God. the children were there. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, no. That was super unexpected. Uh, uh, Holy oh my god! Shit. They've evolved. Yo, priest, you're gonna die. As frustrating as a priest is, you really need him alive. <laughs> Ah! Sure. That's one solution. Oh. Holy crap. Big. Oh no, old. Or is this a corpse? Yeah. Cuidado con el techo. Dale la vuelta. Oh my. Con cuidado. Oh, is that the Aparte. Oh, that's the person oh. who was here originally. How bad. No, I do that. 
<laughs> like how the sequel is like answers. <laughs> <laughs> No! That's what I was worried about. <laughs> Don't let the priest get bit. Don't let the priest get bit. You need the priest. Somebody grab a Bible. A anything from that room. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's terrifying. What the hell? Uh, that it's just a child. Come on, guys, use your brain. Shoot it. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Look, priest, I'm all down for being ominous and all that shit, but you really got to, like, prepare people uh -huh. for everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is, like, brand new to them. You got to uh -huh. really, like, clue them in on what's going on. Oh, God, are those, like, little cages where they kept them? Or were these just air ducts? Uh, I need to know. Sample. Blood. Take it. What's down there? I'm so scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> just no worries. I was just going to pop out. Put that thing in a safe place in your pocket, buddy. Whoa, what's happening? What is that thing? Something's gonna come through what's the What's going on? No, thank you. Shoot. Come on, shoot it. Oh, there's several of them. Oh, oh yeah, that is where they were all kept. Oh, ho, ho. Is where they were all kept, yeah. Not just an air duct after all. No. <laughs> Check it. How, what, what will you check with? How are you going to do it? Did you bring in stuff? <laughs> you brought a whole, uh, like, lab with you? On. What's yeah, going what, on? Did you bring gloves, sir? Oh, okay, never mind. All right, he's got Just them. out in the open? I, I forget that it's religious. Yeah. Uh, is it going to burn? No! <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Uh, really, guys? That is so frustrating. <laughs> Was that just a regular oh, that's just guy? That's the regular the dad. guy who broke in. He wasn't, he's got antibiotics. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Damn, that poor dad. He did a good job breaking through the barrier and sneaking up all those stairs. Why was he all the way upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> Why was he at the top, top floor? <laughs> <laughs> he really ran. Uh, Holy balls. Uh, okay. It's cascading on you. Uh, yeah, use it. Come on Damn. now. Whoa. Oh, that guy. Come on. Ah, uh, the firefighter guy. The hell? How are they getting out of this? No. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. This one section is so frustrating. Okay. Is that the same is old the lady? <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, you're out of ammo. Do you have a knife? Do you have a knife? Stab him in the head. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's surrounded. Okay. Whoa. Oh, that old guy. Yeah, yeah. Guy cared about his looks. Is he telling him to do what I think he's telling him to do? Oh, he was not telling him to do that. No. Vamos a salir. This one packs a 
different kind of visceral punch. <laughs> yeah. Just like, Incorrect. Uh, okay. It's cascading like a cacophony of grace. Like so many of us horrid. It's interesting how this one took a much more cinematic approach. Yeah. You know? It's more like genre heavy. More style. But it's, it's fun though. <laughs> I'm having fun. Uh. Oh, okay. My little girl. Oh, gosh, she's feisty. Oh, my gosh. Somebody find a knife, man. The weapon that never dies. Oh, neat. What the heck? Oh, my goodness. She doesn't know. <laughs> Full on exorcism. What the shit? What? What? Oh god. Oh nope, you got blood in your mouth. Damn. Oh. Oh. oh, they had to put her down. What's going on? Oh, okay. Six months later. Ugh. Oh, are we going to the, the kids? kids camera? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, the flyer just catch oh. on fire. Is it just gonna? Oh God! <laughs> yeah, uh. why would it fly? <laughs> and that's the last time we see the kids. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, they follow him because he got in and then they yeah. came in after. <laughs> that is the most realistic found footage run I've ever seen. Uh -huh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, God. I want these kids to die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like them at all. The girl's all right. She's all right. Dumbass. Oh, God. Esto es muy peligroso. No os podéis quedar aquí. ¿Y vosotros qué? Espérese, joder. What? What the? are you doing, oh you my dumbass? God, what a dumb kid. All right. Tito, Tito, Uri, aguanta. Hey, that firefighter is saving your life. Okay, so they do like. I question, can they just jump out the window, but they would shoot them. The fourth floor. For a second. I'm still questioning why he was at the very top. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer? Mari Carmen? ¿Dónde está la niña? Mari Carmen, ¿dónde está la niña? What is this? ¿Qué pasa? Ladder on fire. Oh my god. What the? Jeez. Oh man. Whoa. I mean, she flew a little bit. <laughs> Oh. Uh, 
So maybe he was infected when they shot him? Yes, because he had blood on him. So he came the second yeah, okay. this okay. all happened. Uh, stay away from the window, bro. Okay. What? Yep. Yo, stop shooting. Why are, they, right? why are they still shooting? Would this be the protocol where they would just keep shooting like that? Oh, okay. They're, so they're softening the blow a little bit. So he hadn't quite turned yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, there he goes. It's a nice little Easter egg to what happened before. Is it like a demon lure thing? Is that? Oh, it's the little girl. The little girl who bit her mom, right? The one who just Jennifer. died? Jennifer. The one who just got shot when we were with the cops? Oh. The priest? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, That's God. terrifying. I don't want to know. That's terrifying. <laughs> what is that? It's the cop, right? Flash a light on the face. Come on now. Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, man. If this firefighter goes, these kids are screwed. That's the wrong one. Oh, yeah. God. Okay, now shoot that one. Okay. This poor girl has just been thrust uh. into all these terrible things. God. This is also stressful. I mean, you got like a billion other zombies. Yes. Let him turn and use him. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Both of them? Okay, so he's going to turn and now eat, try to eat his sister. She's going to turn. What the? Uh. They thought it was this kid. <laughs> oh, is it what? What the? Oh my gosh, she's back. She lives? What? No. What? <laughs> what? Damn. What? How? How'd she live? Because I think... Oh, right, because she was the only one left with that weird zombie thing in there, right? Yeah, it's been... But then maybe somebody... It's been a lot of time passed before these guys got in here, though. That's right, that's right, yeah, yeah. In the attic, there's no one in the attic. Where he is, it's the moment to investigate it. Pater omnipotens, eterne Deus, benedict. Oh, boy. La última vez que te avisé, la última vez tuviste suerte. Ahora dime dónde estás. Oh. They went full on supernatural. En el coño de tu madre. Oh. Whoa. Eso te gustaría, ¿verdad? Tus trucos ya no funcionan. 
Uh, is he gonna? No, I can't. Oh god. Oh. Uh, my stomach's starting to hurt. What the? What the? It's like speed tongues. What's going on there? Donde estás? Upstairs. Exactly. You gotta check again, buddy. Entonces, ¿cómo la viste? La cámara. Tiene visión nocturna. Los ángeles que no guardaron su dignidad, sino que abandonaron su propia morada. Ajá. Bajo oscuridad de impresiones eternas hasta el juicio del gran día. So you have to do it in night vision. Está en el ático. ¡Vamos! I still don't know how she That's got free. That's how she's living? Yeah. yeah. Like, who pulled her underneath the bed, but she was the last one it was, left. It was her who pulled her. Yeah, somehow she, like, yeah. got free of it? I don't know. <gasps> she was playing with a necklace? Did she have a necklace that had a cross in the had first one? I think she did, yeah. Oh, see? Y'all need to be grabbing crosses off the wall. I'm telling you right now. You might be right about that. I think I you're think. right. I think. This poor girl. <laughs> poor oh God. She just gets dragged right She's back here. Went through hell to get the back here. <laughs> Go back to the penthouse. <laughs> Turn off the lights. Yeah. In darkness, she may come. Door in hell. They're on the high way to hell. Okay. So you can't see that door. Unless you have the night vision. You can only access this door in the darkness. Unless Angela's actually dead and she's being possessed or some shit, you know? To lure them. Oh. No solution. Damn. Vamos, Pusky. Oh, God. Everything is different. <laughs> Straight up like a video game level. Oh, my God. So much of this has felt that way. Cuidado. Weird. Okay. Cuidado, jefe. Aquí hay algo. Cuidado. Oh, no! Nah, he was the only likable one. What? Who's oh what? my god. The You don't have an extra light on you? You don't have a flashlight? You're a Come on now. SWAT guy. What? What is this? She's back for more. I would turn the light on. I would turn the light on. But not before we take her blood. How exactly do you think you're going to just get her blood? Exactly. Like, how is this going to work? Don't you think the guy with the camera should be the one should who gets the, the blood? Should be the one who gets the blood. Like, give the priest the camera or vice versa. Okay. No, she's right there. Oh, my God. No, thank you. How is he going to direct her to get the I'm blood? sure if you turn on the light, you can... It, like... She would just, like, disappear, would she? Well, no, she would still be stuck in that world, right? Like, it would be... Yeah, yeah. Creepy. Oh, my God. Creepy. It's all just... No, thanks. Uh. Oh, well. 
You're in Fort now. Good thing she's coming for you because you need to get her blood, sir. Oh my god, this is just unbearable. Get your blood. Get the blood somehow. Whoa! Whoa! Shoot her! Then get the blood. Then get it right get now. Get the there's plenty of her blood. Like, why is it when they die he can't get it? It's. What? What is happening? Then get the blood, buddy. Oh, yeah. All right. Get it, girl. Can't you find her body in the dark? Right, and get the blood. That's what I'm saying. Like, turn the lights off, get her blood real quick. Yeah, well. You eventually reach a limit, and she's reached it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, girl. Whoa. Okay. She's done. No me lo ponga más difícil. <laughs> What's going on? La orden. Is she possessed? I'm. She wants it oh, to spread. Yeah. Oh. oh. <gasps> How did you? Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh the my. Only way God. it made sense. Only way it made sense. Me habría encantado que me sacaras tú. Pero sabes una cosa. She could just do a voice thing, can't she? Que no te necesito. Exactly. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. That's painful. That's painful. Okay. He did. La misión ha terminado. Solicito evacuación. Solo uno. Una mujer. Yo me quedo. Estoy infectado. Clever. Look right at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just having just having some fun. Oh damn. Oh, we're really gonna see this. Oh, oh, okay. Oh god, no. I hate it. Oh my god, why? No. no. <laughs> I don't want it. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Gross. Oh my god. Oh my god, I hate it. So that's how you transfer. Oh my god. Oh, see, it wasn't that long since the they I came it in. Was, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, what a journey. Uh, uh, oh. That, uh, uh, that was so weird. The last shot, I can't. That, oh. was, that was really gross. That was really gross. God help us. I mean, there were so many crosses. In that entire, <laughs> everyone was Catholic or very religious in every house, and no one thought to be like, let me just carry this bad boy around. Yeah. Come on now. Well, dang. I got a lot of thoughts on that. Did you like it? I did like it. I mean, yeah, not as much as the first one. The The thing that, th 
I knew. Well, be a, a little a, slight adjustment a thing, here. There you a go. Thing, yeah. but a, a thing that I knew initially <laughs> from the beginning um, was that I was maybe not going to like it as much of having the four representations of uh, the four body cameras. Yeah. Because I really like that the first one only stuck to one POV. Yeah. Um, because it, it it's harder to make that. And but yes, I, I did. I did like it. Yeah, it's, it was a bit of an adjustment at first. Yes. Because instantaneously, you're like, when you see the quality of what it is, you're like, wow, this is really clean and crisp, sharp, you know, whereas the other one had uh, a much more gritty instant effect, you know, like, yeah, it's like, yeah, sure, it's a news team, but they're like doing some like shitty report at like three in the morning, you know, <laughs> like they're, uh, yeah. they're not getting like the best equipment and all that stuff that because I think, though, the thing with found footage is that whenever you do a sequel, it's instantaneously going to feel gimmicky. Yeah. Like, of course, it's going to be found footage again. You know, it instantaneously feel gimmicky at that point. So it's kind of an unavoidable trap. So I think. Yeah, that they had to do what they're doing. Yeah. So I yeah. think the fact that they took it a different direction with how to capture it and how to go about doing the story while still continuing the exact same story, I thought was, I really appreciated it. It was a bit of an adjustment, but as it kept playing out and I got accustomed to it, I, I started to really like, like, oh yeah, this one, the first one feels like super real. Yeah. And there's a good buildup. And this one's like immediate, um, just the, the horror right away. And it's a bunch of answers coming left and right, an evolution of supernatural and a like different styles, you know? Yeah. And uh, so while I, yeah, I mean, it, the first one is just kind of this contained masterpiece. Uh, and, and then this one though, if you're going to do a sequel, if they just did it the exact same way, it'd be like, eh, just, yeah, just, just trying to do it. So I like that this one is different, you know, it played with it. It felt like it was like, Oh yeah. Now they have a budget because they made the first <laughs> one and people were probably like, yeah, of course. Well, here's more money, like more zombies, more special effects and you can have more points of view, get into like more rooms. Like it, they, they did a lot of like tricks, I think for our brain in the first one that played with like a lower budget. And this one, as I'm watching it, like it was like, they could just have more people, more things involved and obviously a lot more zombies. Maybe, maybe in the, in the first one, they might be like, you're wrong. We could have had as many zombies as we wanted. And we, made it just the way they wanted, which was great. But in this one, I just felt like, oh, they can play around with like more. Yeah. And then they did that the entire time. It was a lot. They had a lot more fun. You could tell that they were having fun. Like yeah. right down at the very end. She looks like right at the camera at the very end. Yeah. So great. And the and I think if you can get on board with a different style, you can enjoy it. Because the... Because even at the very beginning, when it they had actually they had actual credits at the beginning of this, and instantaneously that was something where I was like, okay, this is now this is now a movie, a movie, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. they're they're cutting to credits, whereas before they didn't have. If, I, if my memory serves me correct, they didn't have mm. credits. No, they we just, just cut right to her with the fireman. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, that was great. So yeah, even like the cinematic reveal, they treated this one a lot more cinematically now. In terms of just now taking it after the adjustment and and uh, after adjusting to what the style is and enjoying that and the visceral thrills, what did you think overall about the story and, and the characters and stuff? I liked it. I didn't like how Lara or Lara uh, kept being like, we don't understand. Like, I was like, <laughs> make these people smarter. Like, he said it once. We all get it. Uh, the audience is probably thinking the same thing. Like, he just told you the thing. That annoyed me a little bit where I was like, why is he like right from the top? I in my brain, I thought, OK, they, they probably have a little bit bigger of a budget. And also, are there more producers involved right now that went? We trust what you do with the first one. I got a note. We need one guy who's like steaming off really mad right at the top and then he loses it. And that's what gets us into this next part of it. Like in my brain, I thought that that yeah. it was like kind of a bad note like that. You can have an upstairs team that's like, but I want this and I have the money. And you're like, okay, because that felt off to me from from the beginning that he was just like 
tell us. And what do you mean? And I don't understand. Like you were like, what did you take, man? Did you take like a bunch of Addy before we got here? Mm. That was the only part that threw me off. The rest of it, I, I did, uh, uh, really enjoy like the answers. Like you said that we finally found out that it's possession and, um, that the priest was like, this is a secret mission, which made it fun, which I liked. Um, and, uh, Maybe the only other loophole that I was like, wait, why is that firefighter taking the dad with the antibiotics actually into the building? <laughs> yeah, like sure. that guy just convinced him like, no, but these are anti, And he took them and he's like, I can take these for the infection. Maybe he convinced the firefighter that it would heal an, any infection. That was the only other loophole that I was like, wait, why? Because the, the first one, I didn't see too many loopholes. I, I, you mean I, plot holes? Plot holes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Plot yeah. holes is the word I meant. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see too many as, as there was a couple in here that I was like, wait, why is that even um, in there? But overall, I really I did enjoy the adventure and it was kind of um, kind of nice to jump around with the camera angles, like with the kids and yeah. then the cops and then uh, the regular camera angle, the original one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't like the characters anywhere near as much oh, um yeah like not even remotely close right um, and you can't help but especially for a movie that takes place like seconds later apparently <laughs> if you take if you're watching a movie that takes place seconds later i think it, it opens the door up to compare uh in that regard where and that one you know like they had more of a build up to it so before everything got chaotic but in this one, it may, it makes sense to me that you don't get to spend as much time with the characters because you're throwing them right into the chaos versus a chaos eventually happening where you get accustomed to people so you can get invested in them before shit starts really hitting the fan. You're, you're like, you're the, you're the shit storm <laughs> right, right away. So that made sense um, why why you couldn't. The kids, didn't they, they were frustrating. I thought, yeah. I thought they were genuinely frustrating. Kids. Yeah. Like, I like the presence of the priest. I thought he he had that cool, ominous thing about him. Like, n- no one here delivered that effect, even though I know they're going for more of a cinematic approach. No one here delivered that effect where I was like, like, this is not to say that their acting was bad. I wouldn't say anyone's acting was bad, that everyone was really committed and gave a strong performance. At the same time, the movie never gave me that feeling of, I feel like I'm just watching real people. I still right. felt like I was watching actors the whole time versus yes. the last one. And even that happened with like the Angela character too, obviously, uh-huh. where she went from, you just feel like a real person to, to okay, now you're a performer. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But that's probably has something to do with the way the movie's captured too. It, like I'm sure that factors into t- it. I wouldn't say that it falls on the actor solely. I think it's because of the the way they they switch their genre around. I wasn't sure. Like the camera guy in the first one, they had a relationship. Right, and right. this one, they we didn't really we didn't have that. No, this is just an immediate situation yeah. and it's like levels and, and, and a bunch of answers with especially with the religion. Yeah. Uh, I because I like the open endedness of the first one where you're like, it could be religion or it could be it could be like a, a, a virus. Effect. Yeah. yeah. And then the first like five minutes are like, oh, it's religion yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right away. <laughs> they just completely answer it and with the evolution of the um, of the, you know, like they actually get to speak and then. But yeah, they, I like how they they're trying to fuse it, though, because I don't know what she's transferring there at the very end of the movie. She's transferring <laughs> some, some that's what that's what she carries it within her. The source the of demon. the infection. The sight and juice. It's what is that? Juice. Called? There's a word for that. Um, uh, Transfer or wait? No, like the actual thing that she's transferring. Uh, oh. I've seen it in other like supernatural. I think it's actually in the show Supernatural, and it's like in other horror movies too. There's a. You guys tell me. What, I'm just gonna call called. it Satan Juice. Satan Juice. Yeah. Satan. Satan Caterpillar. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, it was disgusting. I feel I, like. Do you think that if. They started the movie with where we see the priest and the SWAT team and maybe some firefighters, like whatever, that we kind of look into their lives for a moment, like a moment before they arrive onto the set to see like what their lives are like, that it would have made it a little bit like the original. Like, let's pray. Let's let's just say the priest that we saw him get into saying, I'm going to have to go in and it has to be a secret mission. And how do I make it happen that we would have? I don't know that maybe we would have 
like cared a little bit more that it would have set it up or would that have yeah. like do you know what i mean yeah because i didn't i guess I, we didn't really get a definitive main lead character right i'm like is it, was it just, the head of the cops or is it the priest, the priest. <laughs> yeah right and and then they wanted it, to save it for the reveal of uh, like oh that's really a priest like uh subverting expectations that it, it's not just some medical guy from the last one this is a, this is a priest undercover yeah. Which was a good, which which did hit. It like, did, yeah. I'm not sure what would have um, alleviated that. I just feel like, like you said, the two leads, like the cop and the priest, that if we had a moment, I guess, with the, maybe the priest prior to him going in there without revealing he's a priest, why is he going in? Here's the story and, oh crap, here we go. And yeah. then we get a, a point of view of the SWAT. I don't know. Like, I just, you know, when you have a little bit of juice on somebody or someone up front before the action happens, it tends to make you care a little yeah. bit more. And we didn't, we never really got that, which would have, I think would have helped um, because there wasn't anything within the interactions that made me in, feel endeared to anyone. Right. Or feel connected to anyone. There, and the there. first one that's all over. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then in this, and then even with, and the kids too, were just like, bickering annoying little rebels so i i didn't and i'm like i'm not just gonna like them because they're kids i'm like now nah, you're 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 movie character kids to me you're yeah. you're frustrating <laughs> and i and i hope that one kid dies <laughs> I found, my, <laughs> found myself going i hope this kid dies uh, he's, he's really frustrating to be around is that one girl that one teenage girl just like locked somewhere she just well yeah she She's, did they did locked her i saw her legs go into a room i oh, thought they were in a locker yeah. in there with her brother but then they ended up tying him up in a different room. So she's just still, a, she's burned up. They're going to burn her up, yeah. Yep. But then this also opens the door. And I don't think she got bit. So she's no. just like a, a, she actually was probably the solo survivor besides. Yeah, but they. That she, was human. She, she ordered though, Angela, demon possessed Angela ordered um, the, 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 them to burn the buildings. Right. Yeah. That's what I meant. I meant they're burning the, they did actually burn one person who was like a human being. Right. Right. Yeah. And not like possessed. Cause I was like, Oh, she wasn't fit. She's just in that bathroom yeah. burning. And she was the only one that was like, we shouldn't do this guys. I, I don't want to go in on the sex doll. And this uh, is a dumb idea. And then she gets burned alive. And she had to be the one to kill like the firefighter and the cop. Oh my God. <laughs> she, it's terrible. she just suffered. Yeah. That, that poor teenage girl just suffered. Yep. But I did, I think overall though, what they wanted to do was mess around with the filmmaking and I liked what they did there. I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed the stylistic touches of the cutting around, uh, even though it makes it a little less believable. Like, cause it's, cause you're watching like someone with the found footage, you're going, Someone, they had, theoretically, the idea is someone found the footage and then edited it together. So someone found the footage, decided to, you know, edit this together, and then let's go back, show the kids now, watch a time lapse over. Yeah. And then how did Angela survive? Now let's show that. <laughs> so now I'm like, who's the one who edited this? Because then my, my head's doing, like, who edited it, whereas the first one felt like some government document thing that they found you yeah. know and so it had that sense of believability whereas here you're like no nah, this, this is just filmmakers but there were some cool things there like everything with the little evil kids was always really creepy and scary and just Ugh, really frenetic yeah, i thought was God. awesome yeah I, I like the uh i even like the end when she when she does shoot her uh was it was really neat of the night vision mode uh, yeah. When they have the little girl possessed i thought it's cool they brought that actress back when the little girl's possessed and, yeah and it, it, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to like the whole possession thing because they went like full possession here. Yeah. Um, but I think I'm so used to American shit being like zombie viruses that I'm I'm actually down for like a possession thing. Yeah, I like that it was it's Satan stuff because the, <laughs> yeah. the voice can can change and like uh, I guess it just gives it a little more. Uh, juice when we see the room with all of the the writings yeah. of like the history of it that you're like dang this girl's been around for she looked 99 million years old <laughs> yeah. and she started at 11 That's so insane, yeah. it's it's a long time for this like possession to be there which is very interesting versus like zombie thing tends to be a lot faster this had more time to cook, I guess, for the story. True, true. So now that 
was like the next. So like, there's like four of them, and like I said, Rec Four is called Apocalypse. So I guess she oh. succeeds, and then this spreads everywhere. Or Why did Rec Three the the poster of it look like she was in a wedding dress? Did I miss? Is she? Did I like? I think imagine Rec that, three take, or I think Rec Three does take place at a at a wedding. But it's not our girl. I don't know if it's our girl. Is like that a, our girl? This looks like a very different person. Let it me, does look like a different person. Uh, yeah, it's just a completely separate couple. Okay, got it. Uh, huh. That's two hours. No, no, no. It's 81 minutes. Where did I get two hours from? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, um, I don't know. But, yeah, I, don't, I, I have no idea. I, I don't know if people like Rec 3. Well, it's only got three stars, so that's maybe good. not. Let's see what Rec 4 got. All right. Apocalypse. That's almost five. Damn, that's high. Holy junk. And it's okay. Really? That's a big jump. Like, that, I don't even think Rec 1 had that many. Wait a minute. There's two Rec 3 options here. No, they're both three stars. Okay. Wow, that's really high. Huh. Well, let's what one let's do one comparison here. Okay. Rec 1 though has 2.4k votes. Has three and a half, right? Uh, oh, oh! I see the number of votes. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then Rec Four is what is it like six? Two hundred forty-four people. Vote. Okay. So they're okay. just they're just, those are just the hardcore people who yeah. watch the Rec who, franchise and they they're, love it. And they they like, complete it. Let's <laughs> yeah. get it going. They're, they're the ones who watch the abysmal Rec Three, and we're <laughs> like, I'm still gonna watch Rec <laughs> Four. <laughs> uh, yeah. All righty. Well. I don't know. I, I like that they did some world building. That was fun. That was a lot yeah. of fun. I had fun with that one. Good times. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what did you think about Rec 2? Do you like it? Do you prefer it more than the first one? Leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to subscribe. Go ahead. Leave a like. But let's end this with a patron of the day shout out. Gabriel. Now, Gabriel, he wants me to comment to us about how, you know, he, he doesn't believe in God. And we were constantly doing, like, Archangel Gabriel shout-outs. <laughs> so now we're going to do Demonic Possession shout-outs today. Yeah, man. We're going on the complete opposite side, Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Gabriel, if there's anyone here at the Patreon who I would love to possess, it would be you. You know what my first order of business would be as a newly indoctrinated demon, and then now I'm possessing you? I would make you a believer in God. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would be... Because if you did, it would make you survive. Yeah, it would make you, I, would, I would be looking out for you, man. <laughs> I'd be helping you. Because for me as a demon to possess you, to exist, that would mean that there has to be a God as well. Mm -hmm. And so by me possessing you, boom, saved your life. Yeah. Which would then get me fired from the demon world. And I would probably just be lost and trapped in a endless void or whatever purgatory they, do. they would just banish me to purgatory yeah they would just i guess banish they would a throw demon you to purgatory. back up to the purgatory <laughs> be like you're out of hell you're in purgatory, you're purgatory it's now. not as painful here but so. forever but it's a punishment <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know it's just neutral ground it's really boring there versus like hell there's like fire and fury and metal music yeah. and then there's like heaven it's like la -dee -da, -dee -da. Yeah. and then purgatory is just psh, Oh, yeah, 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 that's probably the worst experience. Thank you so much. But, Gabriel, I would be making sure you are uh, going to be going to heaven. So, I guess your ultimate punishment would be I convert you into becoming a believer. Yeah. Wow, he's done it. He's become a, a good person and started converting people like a good Mormon boy. That's, that's what they do, right? They go door to door and they convert them. That's what the Mormon boys do in the khakis and the. Is know, that Mormons? It's Mormons. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. Isn't the same thing? Well, some some people who are Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints get offended when you call oh, them Mormon. Oh, got it, got it. Then was Jehovah's Witness? There, it's all of them. See, they all do it. That's why we're confused. Look they all that. knock on the door with the book, and they say, "Follow the book." It's one thing to watch a religious horror movie. It's another thing to do religious comedies here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've done it. Praise be to God, Gabriel. And also with you. <laughs>